Americans on average drink 37% less milk today than they did in 1970, according to data from the USDA. I had me a big old glass last night, as a matter of fact. But that declining demand is impacting dairy farms across the nation, including here in South Texas. Coley Rodriguez is out in a rather loud sandia this morning. And uh, Roland, tell us about this thing. Hi, good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. It is hard to believe that once upon a time, we had about 121 dairy farms right here in South Texas, and now we only have one. Family-owned dairy farms across the country, like the Cannoli Dairy Farm, are struggling to survive as milk prices have fallen in the last few years due to an abundance of supply on the market. Which the pricing set by the federal milk market administrators, and so the government gets involved, and they're trying to ensure that people get paid a minimum price, and then the co-ops adhere to that, and kind of take all those revenues and kind of spread them out, pull the cost, pull the expenses and pull the profits and it just doesn't really work out better for the smaller producers. The dairy industry has been shifting towards larger corporate farms over the last 15 years. So where everything's going right now, the industry trends is towards the factory farms, the factory mega farms, where you can put thousands and thousands of head of cattle underneath one roof. They never need to see the light of day. You get a lot of economies of scale working for you when you do that. What can be done to help the local dairy farmers? Some want a quota system to prevent massive corporate farms from producing so much milk it hurts family farms. Well, for us, our personal direction is actually strive to take a, a fraction of our production, just a small portion of our production, and run it through a value-added processing facility where we can actually take the raw milk from the cows, run it through pasteurizers, run it through packaging machine, and have a basic product that we can sell to the public that would be safe. Joe Cannoli Jr. and his wife Christina bought the Cannoli Dairy Farm that was established in 1928 in Sandia, Texas, six years ago from his family. Under the aspirations of trying to keep it going for the, the next generation and the last generation. Uh, with the farm starting in 1928, our goal is to get to the 100 year mark. And what makes the Cannoli Dairy Farm so unique? It is pasture based. Mike.